Jason Aaron from PhoneDog.com. And if you're a T-Mobile customer, you have quite a few high-end smartphones to choose from. You know, you have the HD7, the MyTouch 4G, the G2, the Vibrant. You know, a couple other devices that are coming by the end of the year or into next year, like the Venue Pro from Dell and more. So, you know, you walk into the store and you think, should I get this one? Should I get that one? Should I wait? Which one's best? Which one's worse? Well, over here in Phone Dog Land, we do something pretty cool that I like to call a dog fight. It's the HD7 versus the MyTouch 4G. Windows Phone 7 versus Android. Huge big display versus not so huge but still cool display. 5 megapixel camera versus 5 megapixel camera. You know, you get the idea. But it's a dog fight between these two devices. You can see T-Mobile pre-installed applications like App Pack, Asphalt 5, uh, My Team or My Touch Demo Video, Desktop, Friend Stream, which is actually an HTC thing, not a uh, T-Mobile thing. But uh, things like My Account, Yahoo Messenger, My Device, My Modes, Rock Band, Setup, T-Mobile TV, and then Quick for the front-facing uh, video camera so you can video chat. And actually the integration with Quick is incredible on the MyTouch 4G. I have, well, before I get it too far into that, you have Wi-Fi calling and uh, Wi-Fi hotspot as well. So it's kind of like the T-Mobile at home days. You can jump on Wi-Fi and make phone calls and then Wi-Fi hotspot so you can share your internet connection that uh, super fast HSPA plus with, uh, with everybody else. But uh, to jump back into video chat, you know, it's pretty integrated into the device. Uh, you can see contacts, for example, I don't have any in here, I don't think, but Oh yeah, I can use these. Check balance, check minutes, check text usage. You see the little circles beside those. It'll let you know when somebody's online and on quick. So the integration between the two is pretty impressive. Uh, you know, whereas with Android devices of the past, you know, it's it's been kind of separate, separate contact lists. So it's nice to see the integration uh, there. Now let's have a look at some of these uh, some of these different programs just to get an idea of the uh, of the differences between Android and Windows Phone 7. Like, let's have a look at uh, T-Mobile TV on the uh, MyTouch 4G versus T-Mobile TV on this one. Now, while it's loading, this comes with, uh, it's pretty minimalistic in terms of what it comes with. A lot of these are apps I've downloaded. Uh, Family Room is a T-Mobile application. T-Mobile My Account's also on this one. T-Mobile Telenav and then T-Mobile TV is on this as well. So just to give you a comparison between the two, we'll accept and we'll accept on this one as well. Now, the, you know, the uh, MyTouch 4G has a tactical advantage on the network side than the uh, to the HD7. We'll start that trial as well. The uh, HD7 is an HSPA Plus device, whereas the MyTouch 4G is an HSPA Plus, sorry, HSPA, HSPA Plus device. So uh, if you want to take advantage of those 4G-like speeds or 4G speeds, depending on what you think, um, you can do it on the MyTouch 4G. You can't do it to uh, the nearly to the extent on the HD7. So you compare speed test to speed test. This will always get higher network speeds if you're in an HSPA Plus market. So uh, you know the only two HSPA Plus capable cell phones right now on T-Mobile are the G2 and the uh, MyTouch 4G. So keep that in mind if you know that 4G that they keep advertising is important to you. Well, you don't even need to watch this video anymore because the MyTouch is the only one of the two that uh, supports it. But let's have a look at the picture here. And you can see uh, picture, I don't know if the camera is showing it, but the picture is a little bit uh, clearer on the uh, MyTouch 4G at the moment than it is on the HD7. And granted, you know, a lot of that is uh, based on network speed. But you get an idea of what it looks like on a 3.8 inch display versus a 4.3 inch display. So let's take a look at the uh, the marketplaces of these two specific uh, these devices. Uh, Windows Marketplace on this one and uh, Android Market. On this one now, obviously, you know there are much less uh, or significantly fewer apps in Windows Phone 7's marketplace than there are in Android. I mean, that's you know that's a given. Just over a hundred thousand in this one, about three thousand in this one. So you know, dramatically different there. And you know, one frustration you'll find little things. Again, this is very much version 1.0 software, and uh, you can see. Let's say, for example, I go to go to look at an app here, and uh, let's go to. Uh, I'll take it back. Let's search. Let's search for Twitter, for example and uh, search. Now you'll see it'll bring up every single song, every single application, every single everything that has Twitter related in any way, shape, or form. Now it's interesting, you know, the Twitter applications loaded first, which is much better. Now it looks like they've made a slight update, but before, you know, it was loading uh, with the song. So you'd have Twitter Me Some Love, Twitter House, Twitter Man, Twitter Girl, and then you have your Twitter application down here where this is specifically a marketplace. You know, it's Android Market. So I want Twitter. I type in Twitter and every single response I get 
is uh, is related to an app. So it's Tweetcaster, you know, Twitter, Tridroid, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it's frustration. You know, it's very very version one on Windows Phone Seven, trying to sift through a song versus uh, versus just applications. Now that said, it's a uh, you know it's it's still version one. But that said, uh, Android two point two on this one, Android Market pre-installed, and you can see some of the uh, the Android 2.2 benefits here. Uh, let's go to all applications, for example. The uh, tabs are slightly different in terms of color. And once you download something, or anything downloaded, uh, Gmail, for example, you can go over here and allow automatic updating in Android 2.2, so you don't have to worry about physically jumping in the market and downloading the, uh, the application for yourself. You can check that box, and you're good to go from there. Now, you can see some new changes to the uh, the Android market on the tabs here about comments and similar are all separated. So you have your separate comments po uh, column similar here where you can check uh, and see if there's any you know, additional programs you want that are uh, similar to Gmail and more. So they've really done a lot, particularly over the past year with Android market and uh, Android market in 2.2 to make it a more functional uh, place to purchase apps. This is still very version 1. Uh, and you know, but you go into Twitter, for example, and you can see the price. You can see more about it. And you can see sc uh, screenshots and reviews. So it reminds me a lot of uh, of Android 1.5 or 1.6. Now that said, it's very fluid. The fonts look good, and everything is uh, is very aesthetically pleasing. So it depends on what matters more to you. I mean, I'd say this is far more aesthetically pleasing, but this is more functional in the long term. So it depends on which one you need more. So I'll show you some, you know, an app example here between. Um, you know, Fandango, for example, installed on both of these devices, just to give you an idea of what the apps look like on their on their separate platforms. Let's do uh, let's, let's do our one of our zip codes here and save that. And so you can see, I mean, it's you know, more obviously you can see the influence of multitasking and the influence of a more mature OS on this side, whereas this one's a little, is newer, straight out of the box, wet behind the ears a little bit, and it's uh, version 1.0. So you know, it's it's very new. Um, and you notice that in, in a lot of things. But that said, I mean, the transitions are fantastic. The downside is if I'm, let's say, I'm Fandango and I'm in theaters and I want to, you know, I'm in the process of trying to find a theater and I click out and I go back to Fandango, brings me, it goes back to the very beginning. It doesn't pick up where I left off as a lack of multitasking. So it's a trade-off. You know, I like the uh, the fluidity and the way Windows Phone 7 looks, but there have been plenty of times where I get a, uh, frustrated because you know I'm doing something and I get a phone call or I have to go back out and I come back in and uh, you know and then I'm back to where I started so uh, ooh, burlesque that's the one with share so let's take a look at the uh, the cameras on these devices and both are five megapixels but you know in testing for me I know I'm gonna spoil the fun here but I found that the my touch 4G's camera was significantly better that was the one downside or one of the few downsides of the HD 7 the camera is just doesn't seem to be as strong on this device even though they're both five megapixel cameras I just was not pleased with the image quality. You know, on the topic of media, the one place where the HD7 really has the uh, the MyTouch 4G beat uh, is in the media department. You know, I mean, this has a, a media ecosystem with Zune, with the ability to download songs. It's almost, I mean, it's not nearly the extent of iTunes and iOS, but at least there's a, a, a baby ecosystem taking place in Windows Phone 7. There's no such thing with Android. It's very fragmented. There's no... There's no uh, official media functionality on this device, if you will, or there's no easy way to get media on this device. Uh, whereas with this, you know, very much like iOS, you can access Zune, you can download songs. So, you know, it's straight off. I mean, this is very, uh, for again, I keep saying this, but for a uh, version 1 product, the integration there is fantastic. And in my opinion, even in version 1 blows Android out of the water, at least in that department. But let's take a look at the pictures here. Let's... Uh Take a look here, and we'll bring those back up just to get an idea. We'll go to, actually, I want to show you the gallery. Open up the gallery here. You can see it's a sense, you know, very much a sense gallery, but let's see camera shots. I'll bring up that one, and you can see there's the apex. And then to get to the camera gallery on this, it's as simple as swiping down. You can swipe back and forth, but there is the, uh, the apex picture on that one, you know, so just the image quality here, the, uh, the it's more of a natural color, taking these in the same amount of light, and you can just, at least in my opinion, you can tell a difference between those two. Uh, the MyTouch 4G wins it by a mile in terms of picture quality, and the, the camera's probably not showing this, but the colors are much better, 
the, uh, the saturation is better and uh, the image is more crisp and clear on this device than it is on the HD7. So at the same time, while I praise the HD7 for its, uh, its media capabilities and the ecosystem it has in the media and music department, I have to praise the MyTouch 4G and Google and Android as a whole for uh, fantastic navigation functionality. I mean, this thing, when it comes to navigation, maps, this is the leader, in my opinion, in the, in the smartphone space. You know, I was on vacation and uh, I used maps, you know, the whole time. And it GPSed to my location, provided me with dinner ideas when I needed to go somewhere. You know, GPS my location and found the nearest Walmart and the nearest place for coffee or ice cream. And, you know, T-Mobile takes it a step further with the genius button uh, on the MyTouch 4G line where I can click it and say something like, find coffee. Find coffee. Whoops. Well, that was supposed to be seamless. Hang on. Find coffee. So it's processing, and it brings up some of the local uh, the local coffee shops in the area, you know, around uh, Cockworm Mills Mall and uh, another Starbucks over there. So I mean, it's pretty close to my location. I'm at within five or ten miles, and uh, very easy to do. The maps on the HD7 again for you know beginning product, it's fantastic. The maps have been pretty decent, but there's no voice capabilities in this version of Windows Phone 7. So when it comes to navigation. The MyTouch 4G takes the case. And last but not least, we need to check out the uh, the search of these respective devices. I mean, obviously, the HD7 comes with Bing, and then this comes with Google. So we can do a voice search, for example. That's what the screen looks like uh, for Bing. I do like the fact that this picture changes on a regular basis. It's kind of cool, and it'll give you some trivia about whatever's on the on the screen. So I found it to be kind of fun to, uh, to pull that up. Anyway, we'll say, find coffee. Was it find coffee? And you can see here, uh, which is my office is pretty, that's pretty close to my office. It's within about three miles of my office. And uh, you can see it brought up some uh, suggestions that are uh, based on my GPS location. And then you see the web here, and then you can do local search. You can allow location awareness and see some local searches on the coffee front on uh, on Bing as well, you can see coffee news, and then you can go back to web and, uh, and search for coffee. So, you know, it's a pretty uh, pretty functional search on both ends, on Android and Windows Phone 7. It just depends on how you want those results to be displayed. Here, you know, for example, it brings up the, uh, the places, and then here you can scroll over and do local specifically, or news specifically, or web specifically. Um, so it all it just categorizes those differently. But otherwise, you know, pretty good on both fronts. Uh, and very good considering this is a uh, first generation platform. So you know it's a tough call between both of these devices but in terms of over, you know, winning an overall dogfight I have to give it to the MyTouch 4G in terms of features, maturity of the OS and, uh, and everything. I mean the specs are fantastic, the build quality is fantastic and it's just all around not only a great Android device but a great smartphone as well. You know dual cameras, 5 megapixels on the back, front facing camera, Android 2.2 um, the Genius button, fantastic navigation features, and, and more. It's just a fantastic device. The HD7, on the other hand, is also a great device, and I love the screen size, but it's very much a version 1.0 device. I mean, when it comes to software, you know, missing copy and paste, you're sending a tweet and you back out, you lose what you typed. Or you're sending a message, for example, and you back out, you lose what you typed. So, you know, there's no copy and paste either. So, it's very much, you know, first generation product which will get better over time and already is surprisingly good. I mean, you know, for the record, I was very surprised with how uh, fantastic Windows Phone 7 is out of the gate. But uh, it's definitely, you know, dwarfed by the fact that this has just been out longer, has some fantastic features. And in this case, it's a fast device to boot. But, uh, you know, you get either one of these devices, depending on what you need, fluidity, multitasking, I think you'll be happy with either one. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash phone dog. We're actually doing two giveaways on Facebook right now. If you catch this before December 13th, you can see we're doing uh, the 12 days of Christmas and we're giving away a device on the 7th, the 10th, and the 13th. All you have to do is like our page and you're entered to win one of those three devices. Also ongoing is our 100 iPad big game giveaway where you enter, like us on Facebook, enter the sweepstakes, and you're entered to win an iPad or even a trip to the Super Bowl. So that's pretty cool. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog and be sure to follow me on Twitter phone dog underscore Aaron and I will uh, do my best to answer any questions comments you have I'm a nice guy I love to say hello and uh, your your tweet will appear right here on this well, maybe not on this device but uh, on one of my Twitter feeds on one of these devices thanks for watching I'm Aaron see you next time <music>